This is the Crucible Coachworks Porsche 996 Slant Nose prototype car. Now we call it the Slant Nose, but it actually has design cues from other Porsche vehicles. Yep, the original concept started as a Slant Nose, but quickly turned direction a little bit towards the 935, taking cues also from the GT1. The GT1 can be seen in the rear end for the duck bill on the rear spoiler. Um, there's the vents in the back side of the bumper and the quarter panel intakes. Of course, we picked up on the iconic louvers from both the slant nose and the 935. And then we included a 997 GT3 front bumper. Now the front bumper, we lopped the top off of it and kind of reshaped it to fit our feel of what the vehicle should look like for our slant nose. Um, there's a vent out the top for air to pass through and create more downforce. Also, the hood is a little recessed because we had the fender's edges raised a little bit, much like the 918 vehicle that Porsche put out. We also have a ginormous GT3 wing in the back that we feel really wraps the car into one full complete package. We also ditched the pop-ups in favor of low profile LED headlights that include both high and low and are DOT approved. The bumper exit grille and headlight surround work together to create the illusion of the rubber smile from the slant nose and other impact bumper cars. Now if we go back to the back side of the car again, you'll see that there's this empty space for a large suffuser to live. This is going to tie in the rear end of the car and as you can see in these renderings that are probably up in my face right now that Maloney X Media did for us this is what's going to be like 90% indicative of what the final product will look like. Just not quite as low, but it does look badass. <laughs> now we're building this vehicle and future projects using traditional metal shaping tooling. That means we're using the English wheel, the planishing hammer. We're using our Liebert shear that we converted to accept Pullmax style tooling. The kick shrinker, the kick stretcher, the bead roller, and other just traditional hand tooling. The Porsche 996 Slant Nose will be debuting at the PCA Annual Swap Meet in Carlisle, PA on April 30th. So make sure you guys, if you're in the area, swing by, check it out. And then two weeks later, we'll be at the Carlisle Import National Show in the same location. Also on the channel, you can follow the progress on our nine, four, nine and a quarter hunting cart. Our custom off-road go-kart based on 914 parts, including the suspension, steering, and two liter engine. Also on our channel, we'll be unveiling some new projects to so stick around here. We'll be able to find out what they are. Along with that, we're also gonna be testing and reviewing 3D printers, lasers. Uh, we have a robot sitting on our shelf that is a literal CNC machine, along with other cool equipment like 3D scanners and more. So all that being said, make sure you drop a comment, like, subscribe, tell your friends, pet your cat, and we'll be catching you guys later.